Today has been a good day already. I've been out for a ride, as you guys probably saw yesterday. Yeah, got a lot of stuff done that I needed to get done. So I'm really happy with that. Maybe a lot of people aren't watching the vlogs like they were before, but I am still doing the muscle food diet thing. Again, not for me, as an experiment. So please don't comment below. I'm very aware of how to lose weight. I just wanted to give it a go for people who wanted to know. So there, that's that covered. I give myself two cheat meals a week. And they're always one day after another. So that's why on the live streams I eat what I want because the rest of the time I've been eating the muscle food. I say with bacon cooking in the background, but it's not mine. <laughs> Lydia has assured me that there's a taller mountain somewhere here. If you want to see a load of bubble wrap, there you go. Oh, he moved. He's not there now. Oh, he's here. Oh, I came out of here. here. Oh, he's there now. Oh, poor Tom man. Hey, there he is. He the old Tom man. Say hello, people, Tom man. Don't be ignorant, you shitbag. Oh, you don't give a fuck, eh? You real piece of shit. That's what he did last night, right before I threw up. Oh. Tom man threw up in our bedroom last night, all over the place. I was so drunk, passed out. I didn't hear any of this go on, going on. Apparently, that he had spray cans of deodorant or air freshener, whatever you call them, going, nothing. And no Scooby of any sort was had by me. Had no idea. Oh, cherries. I think this might be the tree that me and Lydia bought mum and dad for Christmas about three years ago. So today's real L, well Indian pale L offering is Camden off the menu IPA. I'm not gonna read too much into it. I'm just gonna open this up and drink it. Here we go. Make sure that's in focus. This one's 5.8%. That one's actually quite drinkable. Maybe it's just that Indian powers have that sort of sweet, almost elderflowery background taste to them. It's still got that bitter flavour, but that's quite drinkable. I'm enjoying that. Camden off the menu IPA. Drink cold. That's all it says. Don't know if they do any more than that, but that one, I'm gonna call this one the salmon, because it's slightly salmon coloured. So if you want to go out and buy some salmon can drinks, it's not actual, there's no salmon in this. I don't know. I don't know if that's off menus like the tag Camden or it's Camden off menu is like the brand or off menu is the the variation of this oh, pardon, Indian pale ale. I'm making my makeshift curry. You know the recipe that I showed you guys not that long ago. I'm actually gonna do that as my next video. I basically invented it when I was a student at uni. You know, you wanna spend most of your money on drinking. So I came up with curry using ingredients I had and the knowledge that I had from a lot of, cause a lot of our Bruneian friends or my family friends out in Brunei are Indian. So they have a lot of traditional recipes. I just used bits and pieces from their recipes with this and it worked pretty well. So that will be probably my next chin cook stuff video. Q7 battery is actually dead so I'm gonna, well, we're gonna try and jump it now and hopefully alarms and stuff don't start going off. Cause that's what can happen with these kind of cars. The alarm goes off and the car thinks it's been um, hijacked. So it just bleeps for no reason. So the hazard lights have just started going after connecting Lydia's engine up to it. I know I should have got one of the um, bigger cars. The battery sizes aren't equal and stuff, but this is, what's the word? I don't know. It was just easier. My car's plenty good enough, thank you. Okay, so. Yeah, so that's really weird that they're just going off. I'm fully expecting an alarm to go off soon. Maybe I should try my keys. Yeah, that's turned them off. I'm about to get this one ready for sale actually. So, I need to get MOT'd. 
the handbrake's gone on it, so I haven't got that fixed because I've got the other two cars, I haven't been using it. Boot doesn't go up, so I need to get that fixed, but it does go up, but it's a bit shit. Well, it goes up to the garage people, but not you. Yeah, exactly, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I'd like to keep it, but I need room. It's fucking hot in here. Right, I'm gonna turn the hand, um, handle. No, it's still not enough charge. We'll leave it for a couple more minutes and then see what happens. Right, so I've left it for a couple minutes. If this doesn't work, I'll leave it for 10 more minutes and then see. It could be because Lydia's battery isn't powerful enough. So, that's the. Uh, so annoying when you, one key looks like that and the other key looks like that. They're exactly the same, pretty much. I don't think Lydia's car's got the beef to charge it. I might have to get the van. Got the van hooked up to it now. Hopefully this will uh, work. There she is. Okay, so I'm trying it just off the back of the... There we go, that's what it was. The other watch you call it didn't have enough power, that's awesome. Brilliant, so I can disconnect this now. No, it's just you normally bucket there when you want to clean it. So if anyone wants to save me the trouble of having to list this, or get it fixed and wants to give me a decent offer for it, let me know. But um, when well, I say decent, because I know all the faults, I wouldn't be asking for millions. Yeah, I'm open to quite sensible offers. Hell, I'm even open to a really low ball offer. Any offer, really. £2.50 in a Snickers, it's gone. It's yours. <laughs> well, the mini must food counts there. Let's see if they actually change my fucking order. I fucking doubt it. Oh, they have because instantly see this is what I ordered. Yep. Look, these zippers, because these are awesome and they last forever. They literally, you open a bag and you're still munching them 10 minutes later. They're like a never ending bag and they taste really good. Really good. Obviously, these bars because they're awesome. Those chips are quite nice. I went for a couple of these these times because the pizza ones are starting to get a bit weird tasting. So I thought I'd try these. Just cheese ones. Love olives, so olives. Huh, interesting. I don't remember clicking that. I don't like the protein cookies. So, let me know if I did click one of those because it would have been in the video before. Seven of these because this is how I like to start my day with liquids and not food. And let's see if I got the stuff that I wanted. Oh, it's possible I put in for a Cookie. These Italian meatballs, I should have had two of those and two Moroccan. Moroccan, Italian, sweet, so that's right. I might have said yes to a burger, but I don't think I did. Yeah, you did. Did I? I think you got a burger, yeah. You said they were alright, so you just would get a few. I started to go off them there. Because it's so bland and just tasteless. I think everything else looks right. Chow mein, yeah, chicken breast, marinated. I must have got more of those ball things than I thought. Yeah, okay, I think I, I remember ordering them. Tagine, tagine, ragu, because I like the ragu. The ragu is quite nice. Cheeseburger pizzas, because they were quite nice. You can tell there's three ragu there. One chow mein. Another chow mein. Four cheeseburger pizzas and two mighty meaties. That's about right. Look at all that shit in the bottom. One of those is burst. Oh, you a lovely little man? Hey? Eh? You a lovely little man? Hey? Eh? What the man? Hmm? Oh. Uh, I was following some people on the way in. They just started putting the indicators on, and I was like, I don't know what's going on here. And then. I just saw a load of hands waving. So I think they might have known who we, who I was driving, which is really fucking cool. And then they said bye after they went past the shop. So that's awesome. So if that was one of you guys out there. Just a quick patron shout out to Susie Taylor. Thank you very much for signing up. It means an awful lot. I uh, always say look, you guys don't need to, but if you do, fantastic. And that honestly is amazing. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. So today was busy. We had, well, we did 260, which I think is the best Tuesday for a long, 
long time. Tomorrow will be a hard test because tomorrow I think last week we did 300 or 270. And that's quite a tall ask for a Wednesday when there's no um, tourists tourists around. Tourists, tourists. But aside from that, a really good day. Web store slowing down quite a bit now. I'm guessing that's just because a lot of people are out and about. They weren't before. So that's not that great. Losing out on some income there. And at the moment, I think the, the takeaway has been doing between 15 and 1800 a week. It needs to be doing 2000 a week to cover its costs. And then the web store was covering that and now it's looking like it might not do that now. Uh, so I'm gonna have to really think about my strategy, where to go from now. A bit difficult because pretty much exhausted everything. I mean, the warehouse would help because I could bring down my prices, but then there's a massive outlay for the warehouse itself, obviously, and then for the amount of stock I have to buy. So I have to buy by the pallet, whereas before I was buying like five to 10 cases at a time, a pallet has like a hundred on. So I'm gonna have to, just for one item on my store, I'm looking at a thousand pounds right there. And there's like 20, 30 items. So that's a huge, huge outlay. But I think that's the only thing I can do is to get the prices down to be competitive enough that people start using us. Otherwise it's not looking great. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for being here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to stay safe. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin out.